Welcome back all, this is Daz from Model Railroad Techniques. So up this week I got a few new toys, the new DCC Specialties PSXX circuit breakers. So I know there's been a few other videos from the DCC guy which have been really, really awesome sort of introductory type videos. Now I'm going to be deep diving into sort of the network feedback side of things because uh, computer aided dispatching and computer control on my railway is what I'm interested in. So comment below if um, you've worked out other better ways of doing this. However, it's sort of how I found um, to be able to, to feed this information back with blocks that are shorted and be able to control the DCC addresses within the little module. So if I wish to, to help my channel out, I've got to buy me a coffee or buy me a beer, depending on what part of the world you're from. So I'll put a link to that below. So every little bit counts. So thanks to all those people that have already um, assisted me to keep the content rolling. So don't forget to subscribe, like, click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming content. So enough of the waffle, let's get going. So this is what we're, we're trying to achieve. So I've got the, the, got the PSXX here at the front. Um, obviously it's still upside down just for the ease. Now from the right hand side here, we've got the DCC coming in from the DigiKai's DR5000. You've got the optocoupler isolated relays. So this little module here, which is connected to the, the S88N protocol that reports back um, analog signals back into to JMRI or train controller, which I'll, I'll show you shortly. So the reason I'm using that is, um, it's obviously one of the things I'm using on my layout right now. Also that it's got um, reporting capabilities so I can report back into train controller when um, a short circuit has occurred. So I'm actually gonna monitor the external LED which is supplied here. Now there is other ways to do it, but you need to buy other modules, which I didn't have at the time. So I sort of um, wanted to work out how with what I've got, you can actually use. So that's why it's important to use optocoupler uh, relay boards here. So they only take five milliamps, whereas we can go up to um, several milliamps above that on, on this output. So what we're gonna do here um, we've, we've currently got we've got a DCC input. We've got also DCC output. That isolated power district would be live. So what we're going to do, we're just going to quickly I am um, sort of simulate a short here. So I'm just going to quickly short across, which would be a, a real hard short. So you can see it comes off really, really quickly. A few things to look at. That's obviously the what I'm going to call the hard short. Um, indicator which then if you've got an LED connected to uh, pins one and or outputs one and two of J5 it in the, uh, would illuminate the LED if you just want to put it on your fascia. Over here on the the relay side of things this is a four bank relay which you only need uh, one but um, as we'll go through shortly um, the the importance of the optio coupler is um, very important to isolate the two two circuits. So we've currently got the the complete circuit, which will be now feeding back into here. So if we go over onto a few things we can have a look at. So we've got a monitor off the back end of the DR five thousand, and you can show see there very quickly that our short circuit has fired off uh, address number eight. So that's indicating to me that that address is, um, th that occupancy has been fired off and it's gonna give me indication that the DR, so the PSXX is um, in short circuit mode. This video is proudly sponsored by PCBWay.com. If you're a tinkerer, inventor or advanced electrical engineer, you need to check out PCB Way or you are seriously missing out. They are passionate about PCBs ranging from standard to advanced PCBs with one to 30 layers with full featured printed circuit boards. PCB Way don't stop there. They offer basically everything you need to make your ideas a reality. 
Whether you need 3D prints, injection molding or CNC machining, assembly or basic PCB manufacturing, they can do it all for highly competitive prices. Check out their awesome services in the link below and their offer to my viewers who support this channel. Watch out for my upcoming videos where I'll be using some of their products. All right, so as you can see, we're in short circuit mode here. So I've got the LED, the indicator on there. We're also firing off over here on the on the relay side. So we'll just jump across to train controller quickly. So what we're, we've got here is on the left hand side, and these are just very, very crude buttons in, within train controller. The sky's the limit exactly what. If you want to use other things, um, other designs, that's fine, or you can design your own. So that button there, is the DCC to turn the board on and off so we can play with the output of the board so we can turn the boards off individually and then to the right hand side here is my short circuit alarm so what we'll we'll do here <laughs> within train control you can have a little bit of fun with it and I'll show you what I'm going to do um, so basically within the button or sorry the, the indicator once it goes to a short circuit you can actually put other automations within it so i've just recorded up a little uh a little audio file which has my silly voice explaining that's a short circuit in a particular power district I'll just quickly go for the the short again and you should hear the audio short circuit in barum wood 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 short circuit in barum wood 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 so that's just a little bit of fun I had this morning, just recording that to show you what you can do. You can put other, you can put honkers and buzzers and all sorts, what, what, whatever wave file, basically you just you connect to a wave file that's on your PC and it'll just uh, bring that up as an automation. All right, so what we'll have a quick look at here is some of the hardware and just how to basically wire this up. So um, on the screen there is a picture or a schematic, I should say, of the relay that I'm using. So when I was talking before about Optio Coupler, so you can see the Optio Coupler in the middle here. So what that actually is, it's a physical division between the circuit on the left-hand side and the circuit on the right-hand side. So these relays are predominantly designed for Arduino, hence why the one I've built here previously is for the Arduino, but it's the same sort of effect that we just got a negative and positive, and that comes out of the PS, PSX X, I should say. Still can't get my mouth around that. PSX, PSX X, and that's how that runs. So the load on this within amps is, my understanding, not even two two milliamps. So we've got a little bit of a buffer there. But the the, the main reason why using the opto coupler is is this division. So I can power up the actual physical coil of the relay here which is on the right hand side here with 12 volts i can use dcc which i won't i'll just use 12 volts so all i need to do is be able to fire off the uh the detection module with enough with enough voltage to give me some sort of indication whether we've got a short or not so the reason also why we use the uh, the optio coupler here is if we have an issue with the circuit on the right hand side of the coil we get some sort of inrush back via um, the pin here at the top so the top sort of top here where i'm circling there's um that you can there on these relays there's two pins one's called the the vcc and the jd vcc so between these two here there is actually actually physically a a jumper so what can actually happen is if you have an issue with the coil over this side, you can actually get an inrush back into your your other circuit, which in my case will be the PSXX, and you could do quite damage to that. So hence why this little guy here in the middle here is very important. So that actually only controls the, the, the Optio coupler via LEDs basically on and off when this, this circuit here is powered up. So what I'll quickly do is show you some of the connections um, how we get this up and running. So currently on screen, we've got the, the four bank Optio isolated relay board. So I'll just go through some of the pins. Um, so obviously we, we can control four relays off this one board. So um, with this example, I'm only controlling two. 
sorry, controlling one. So as spoken of before, the importance of this JD VCC in the VCC. So that's a little jumper. So if you take that jumper off, you end up getting two little um, um, individual pins like this. So to give you an idea, what we now do is, so the first connection we're going to look at is the VCC pin. So if we're looking over here on the right hand side, which is will be the bottom pin of those two, and that is connected to the PSXX J51, which is the, the positive. So we'll just quickly go over to the PSXX here, which is going to be this. So we're down the bottom here. So that pin's connected to that little red guy there. So that's the J51, which is the, the positive run over to the VCC of the relay. So back over to the relay now. So the next pin we're going to look at doing is the negative run. Um, so the next one I'm going to look at is this VIN1. So by nature of these Arduino type relays, that's actually the way we're setting it up here. It pulls it to a pulls it to ground. So what we're going to do that ground so that VI1 so that controls relay number one, which is this one on the far left, is going to be our negative from the PSSX, PSXX J52. So we'll quickly go back over there. So that's this little orange guy here. So that's pin number two to the relay. So those connections there, all they control is this Optio coupler. So what we're going to do, look at now quickly, we'll look at now how we power up the relay coil side of things. Because what happens is if you don't power up the coil, it doesn't have enough, with 5 volts, it doesn't have enough power. So all it's doing is when you know you've got a short circuit, this little LED down the bottom here, uh, VI, VIN1 or IN1 will illuminate when we get a short circuit. So that is basically telling me that it's monitoring. So that's monitoring LED D17 on the PSX, which is this one here. So that'll illuminate red. So the next connection we're going to look at doing is, as I said, powering up the, the relay. So we're going to go from this ground pin here to a 12 volt external power supply. So that's a DC power supply and that'll come out to the 12 volt. And then this JD VCC is also the external power supply but to the positive run of that. So as you can see we can run up to DC we can up run up to 30 30 volts at 10 amps so we, we're nowhere near that I'm only running in this out of one or two amps so the next part of this little guy is this is the a real close-up photo of the detection module so we've got the, the inputs and outputs that go up to whatever command station so there is versions for this for for the local net users out there uh, did you guys do one and I believed um, uh, Digitrax do, will do one as well. So depending on your protocol, but this is the one that I've got that I use for this type of bus. So far left hand side here, what I've got here is so that's the far left hand side of the of the module. So that's pin number eight that I was talking about before. So that's the address effectively that you put back into your um, your JMRI or your train controller. As we move across, we've also got what they call a reference pin on these. So the reference pin just completes the circuit. So to give you an idea, uh, pin number eight on this is the positive run. So that positive run there will then run directly out to the relay, which I'll show you in a sec. And then the, the reference here that we talked about goes directly to the 
the external 12 volt output. So I'll just quickly show you the relay again. So here we're back on the relay. So what you need to do is what we're just talking about. So that um, that positive that comes off the back of the detection module gets connected to the normally open port of the of the relay on relay number one. And then what you do, you get the 12 volt external power supply will go into the common in the middle. So what will actually happen is, so basically what, what happens here is when we get a short, this optio coupler gets turned on. So that, that'll fire off. So what then that, do, that does, it turns on the internal LED light in the optio coupler, which in turn, well, sorry, energizes the relay. So it, it flicks on the JD VCC and also this in one and then flicks it across. So then you become the normally open, uh, the relay will then close, completing that circuit up to the, the detection module, which shows you the short within your computer program. So that's uh, a very, very crude version of what I was just trying to explain to you and what it will look like. So comment below if you want to reach out. Um, it was very difficult to try to explain this um, within pictorial form. So if you want me to send a, a picture of this or go through this a little more detail, please let me know. But it, it's quite simple electronics. Uh, it's just a matter of getting your connections right. Um, the key is obviously this optio coupler right here. So these two circuits are never going to never gonna have a physical uh, connection because obviously then you can have issues with um, inrush and the like with the with with the coil that could possibly damage your your PSXX. So that's uh, the end of the video. So sorry, it's a little bit of a technical one, but um, any comments below how how you might have, have achieved this or uh, flaws in my design? Um, obviously, as I said, this is a very very basic way of looking at. It. There is other ways of doing it. Um, there is modules that uh, Tony's trains uh, do have. And they're made by DCC Specialties, which is the same uh, crowd that obviously make um, the PSXX. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe. Click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Support us on Patreon. Like us on Facebook and Instagram at Model Railroad Techniques.